Hello guys, welcome back to seven of my stream of Otome games because uh, I love Otome games and uh, today we have the exquisite My Next Life as a Villainess for you. Um, you probably were thinking after Pio Fiore we would stop, but no, we were waiting for this game and I had yep. promised Sören to stream it and then for you guys, of course. Yep. And if you have seen the anime, you know that the game is after the anime and uh, that uh, our main character is a very special girl Bakalina. that you can only love. <laughs> we are only love. <laughs> There's only love for this girl. <laughs> she, she is lovable. She is definitely lovable. If you have not seen the anime, Go watch it. Yes, and uh, we are reincarnated as Katharina Klaas, who is the villain of a Tome game, and she's the girl in the middle. And she has beaten all the doom flags of her demise by being her derpy self. Yep. <laughs> and everyone loves her for it. <laughs> her I mean, you can see it on the girls in the bottom. She is uh, <laughs> gonna bring us some joy. This is uh, oh, yeah. definitely gonna be a light game. And it's uh, <laughs> definitely different from Pio Fiore. Yep. So, let's jump right in. I have to tell you that the main character is voiced, so I'm not gonna read out the lines. So you can listen to her beautiful voice. Yes. Oh. yes, I'm here. Uh, okay. Yes, yes, I'm clicking. No, yeah, I'm no, done. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, Prologue. Happened? Invitation to the sea. A focus already. Okay. Huh? I find myself in a room. It has light pink walls and a black table, a pipe framed bed with light blue sheets. Placed on the bed is a blue pillow. Ah, this is Atsu's room. How nostalgic. I came here all the time in my past life. The sound suddenly places me in reverie. It's one I haven't heard in some time. I still think it sounds like she's eating a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> And, and arts of uh, her friend, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we shouldn't spoil it, but um, she's also there. Yeah. Reincarnated. My hands are tearing cellophane wrap of a package from a website we often ordered from back then. Wait, are these my hands? Looking closer, the hands are kind of different from mine. As I wonder why, the hands take a book from the wrap. Ah, <laughs> Huh? Don't tell me this voice is... Atsu? Am I Atsu in this stream? Do you just said that? Mm, yeah. It's not like I'm behind Atsu, or like we're in the same place. It feels like I literally am Atsu. Wait, I think I know that picture she's holding. No way. The book says Fortune Lover, the official fan book Dreamy Romance. The oh, name yes. is so generic, I said it. AI generated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, bring me a Tommy Romance name. Ah, Forge Lover, Dreamy Romance. Cool. Yes. <laughs> Forge Lover is the name of the Tommy game I was obsessed with in my previous life. If you would have been obsessed with, you would have played it 100% and you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she didn't. She didn't? No, no. Oh, man, I didn't know about this book. It'd be cool if the special CGs I got in game are in it. Like the one with Chora eating the muffin Mar Maria dropped three seconds through. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, hey, Atsu, I avoided all the Doom flags for now. Please don't hurt me, Chordo. Ah, she can't hear me. Well, obviously, I am her right now. 
This body is out so, so of course I can force it to say things I want. But if this is a dream, I at least wanted to talk to her. I want to read the official fanbook too, so... No, wait, Atsu, I'm not done with that page yet. Atsu, unable to hear my muted screams, flips onward mercilessly. And then I spot a familiar face. Ah, data! Akuyakureijo! Katarina no Hyojo Sabun te yake ni o in da yo ne. Staff ni gyaku ni kini irore te so da na. Oof. Yeah. Burn. Yeah. Oh no! Katarina Kless! Katarina Kless is the villainess of Fortune Lover. She's a character who does awful, criminal things to the. Protagonist Maria and gets killed or exiled the most endings. And I, an ordinary high school girl, have reincarnated as her. In other words, I'm Katarina Kles. Oh wow, they actually put the ending list in here. Oh man. Exiled, disowned, killed by magic, stabbed with a sword. The list of Katarina's brutal doomens made me recall all I had experienced. Uh, it was such a long journey. But I'm no longer heading to Doom. We have passed the gradation ceremony at the Magic Academy where the game ends. That's what she thinks. <laughs> yes. Ever since I regained memory of my past life, I, Katharina Kles, have done whatever I could to avoid the Doom ends. To start, we have the romanceable character who sets my first Doom flag, Georgia Stewart. Ah. Our friends. When the third prince of Sorcier falls for the protagonist, Katharina is either banished in the good end or killed in the bad end. Great. We've been great friends ever since childhood, but lately I've been worried I would reach a bad end at any minute. No, no lady. I put so much effort into making the perfect toy snake so I could scare him off at any time. Yeah, 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 the toy snake. <laughs> She's so derpy. <laughs> the next romanceable character, Aka, the next Doom Flag, is Keith Cliss. Oh, look at his face! How is he a Doom Flag? <laughs> He's the adopted son of the Cliss family, making him my adorable little brother. But if he falls in love with the protagonist, Katharina is still exiled or killed by magic. Oh, come on! Why always the second killed? Yeah, always that. I like the game, he grew up to be a nice boy, so we are close-knit adopted siblings. Next is the third romanceable character, Ellen Stewart. Charter's twin brother, the fourth prince, doesn't doom Katarina. Ah, Ellen. <laughs> I really like him. The rival character in Ellen's route is Lady Mary Hunt, the daughter of Marquise Hunt. Hello there. Yeah, she still has quite a lot of... Uh, Personality. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but unlike Katarina, Mary isn't doomed in any room. She's such a lovely larva. Well, she always helps me out and has a kind heart, so no wonder she's never doomed. I, I don't think she's into guys, so maybe that's the problem. <laughs> maybe she was never really a rival. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I befriended Ellen, who I wouldn't have met in the game, Mary and I grew up together to become best friends. And the fourth romanceable character is Nicola Stard. Oh, they're all so lovely. Fortunately, Katarina isn't doomed in the route of the Prime Minister's son either. Like Ellen's route, the antagonist is not Katarina, but Nicole's sister Sophia. How is she evil? Look at her face! <laughs> yeah, but, uh, wasn't it something according to the game in the series that you have to be able to be good friends with her before you could actually date him? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was something like that. Nicole and Sophia are connected to me in the game, but both of them are now my precious friends. Well, I didn't do Nicole's rude in my past life, so Atsu spoiled the whole thing for me. See? See? Didn't have a percent it, I told you. Yeah. How dare you, character. Not even the secret route. I'm just glad I didn't end up doomed. I panicked when I tried to boost my magic just in case and it didn't improve at all. <laughs> well, you can't boost zero with zero. 
when I was a child. I worked hard on a farm to improve my earth magic, but my powers hardly changed. Oh, she makes just bumps into the earth. Yeah. But she used it at one time, right? And then someone fell over, so... Uh, she saved Maria. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. However, I found farming fun and devoted myself to it anyway. I could always live as a farmer if I were exiled. Oh, yeah, right. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm planning to quit my farming hobby. And so I managed to avoid all the doom flakes by taking the perfect measures. But who could have thought we would end up reaching the friendship end? Maria is the protagonist of Fortune Lover. Like all the Tommy heroines, she's kind of pretty, so everyone falls for her. <laughs> the, the, the baking. <laughs> the oh, muscle, yeah, yeah, yeah. muscle Maria. <laughs> it's Sarah's favorite scene, so if you watch the series. <laughs> <laughs> Muscle. <laughs> um, oh boy. I was lucky enough to befriend her at the academy, but I was nervous about who she would end up with. After all, her love life correlates directly with my doom flags. <laughs> she loves you, lady. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but Maria didn't choose anyone, though we all became friends and reached the friendship end. Thanks to that, the villainess Katharine escaped her doom, but I wonder how. Maria is too sweet to not have a boyfriend. What about girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? As the brings me back to my senses, I find her looking at the rejected episodes, rough sketches, and development stories. Hmm, so Maria's original hairstyle looked like this, and wait, they rejected Doom for the evil Katarina? Uh oh. Du -du. I see a boat. Wait, what is this? What do you mean a rejected doom? Panicking, I fix my eyes on the page as it's open. It reads, a cut ending where the boat taken Katarina into exile is attacked and sunk by pirates. The music is really good. Drama. I mean, being exiled is harsh enough, but the ship sinks as she's being exiled? Seriously? What if I find particularly concerning is that these menacing sketches of the ship and the pirates are so finely detailed. Hey, production staff, what's with this? Why are you so determined to doom Katarina Klaes? Do you hate her that much? Seriously, the team should be reincarnated as Katarina too. Oof. Not you too, Atsu. Wait, throughout? Oh yeah, this is a rejected doom. Wow, I'm so glad they didn't actually put this in the game. <coughs> I mean, yeah. the game has already ended. <coughs> mm -hmm. In other words, I've avoided old dooms, even new ones I hadn't known. I don't have to worry about doom flex anymore. Famous last words. Huh? What did you say? I feel like Atsu just said something important. I need her to repeat it, but. Katarina sama? I hear a voice calling me in the distance, then feel someone shaking my shoulders and. <laughs> He's napping. When I open my eyes, I find Sophia looking at me worriedly. That's when I finally realized I fell asleep in the academy's courtyard. That was nostalgic. I kind of wanted to stay in the dream a little longer. Something Atsu said was still concerning me. Katarina sama, Katarina sama? Katarina-sama? <sighs> それより、どうしてここにソフィアが私も今日家に帰りますので、学園を出る前に、カタリナ様にご挨拶をと思って、お部屋を訪ねたのですが、いらっしゃらなかったので、探していたんです。しばらくお会いできなくなりますから。The
it's common for students to head home, so since they had plans, Jordan, Ellen, Mary, and Maria all left today. Sophia's soft smile is pretty as ever. As expected of the sister of Nicole, the devilish charmer himself. It makes me feel a bit dizzy. It's disappointing I can't see her, Mary, or Maria during the spring break. They all said they had plans they couldn't miss. Ah. Actually, we were supposed to go home the first day of vacation just like the others. But our journey was delayed just before the vacation started. I don't know exactly why it was rescheduled, but Keith might, since he's the one who got the ladder. Did the carriage break or something? She's so carefree. Two what? days later, she's like, hmm, maybe I should have read this letter. <laughs> <laughs> but cookies. <laughs> yeah, but if that were the case, I'm pretty sure Anne, my maid, wouldn't have been summoned ahead of us. ところ I like how this gives us summer feeling while outside it's snowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all the shit. Oh no! She had to do all her packing by herself! Oh, like boy. a normal person! Like normals do. Common people. It's true that I've been having trouble packing my things. I usually leave that to Anne, but since she's not here, I'm doing it myself. It shows I've become completely dependent on her. Usually packing would be done by now. Yet I'm having a hard time packing my luggage. Keith keeps seeing my pile of bags saying, Sister, that is too much. I don't really want Mother to try the veggies I harvested this winter. I guess the cabbage is too big though. <laughs> きっと疲れが溜まっているんですわ。もう部屋でお休みになられたらいかがでしょう。ゲイ、ネップタイム。それもそうね。明日に備えて、もう休むことにするわ。あ、なるほど、ソフィアピース I really feel bad for making her search for me. Sophia looks reluctant to leave, but when I smile and wave my hand, she reminds me to rest and walks away. Recently it's gotten warm enough that I'd be fine even sleeping outside, but she still worries about me. Sophia is such a kind girl. She's pretty and charming. I'm so lucky to have her as a friend. Oh. oh <laughs> Here we go again. And then, my stomach begins to crumble. Perhaps I really should call it a day. Oh, but Anne's not here and I don't know where the spare snacks are. That's the problems we are facing. The, disaster. the real problems. It's a crisis. And had told me, Lady Katarina, I will leave the snacks here, but don't eat them all at once. Well, I tried. Oh, my dear Anne, you know one snack a day is not nearly enough for me. She ate it all at once. Mm -hmm. As I search for fruit in the courtyard, departing from my barren field, Keith appears before me eat the cabbage. <laughs> if you can't take it, might as well eat it. Eat the cabbage. こんなところにいたんだね、姉さん。話があるんだけど。あ、ロフトスワイセクト。イブリズンソベリケーブスプレイ。Okay. 
It seems Keith realizes I'm scavenging for food, and he looks as strained as ever. Nessa, Masaka, Mata, Hiroi Gui, she ought to stay No, Hiroi Gui, so not there. Taberal, me, and Nakaniwa, and Naika, so go stay the dog. So they are Hiroi Gui, the Yunda, and Nessa. So, Mosom, so not Taberal, so not Miga Narukiwa, Nakaniwa, and Naika. How do you know? Maybe that's a secret trick. Well, will he admit that there is nothing unladylike about picking fruit from a tree? Madame Keith insists that the Duke's daughter should never pick fruit from trees. Sometimes love can be smothering. <laughs> you have moms. Scotch <laughs> Keith says that then takes an adorably wrapped cookie from his pocket. I wouldn't expect less from Anne and Keith. They actually had extras just in case. I'm so grateful. As I tear open the wrapping and cram the cookie in my mouth, I look up at Keith standing in front of me. Mm, Keith is looking unusually troubled, so I swallowed the cookie whole. Then he begins to speak. Keith says the cold is pretty bad and that both our parents were confined. Most of the servants also became ill, so there weren't enough staff to work the house. That's why Anne was called home early. If he told me earlier, I could have gone home with Anne and take care of them alongside her. I draw near Keith quickly, but he shakes his head with discomfort. Keith explains that father didn't want me to worry, as I would insist on rushing home. And, I wrote, and wrote that it should be kept a secret. Eh? Keith's hesitation gives me a bad feeling. Wait, what if I haven't avoided every doom and this cold is going to kill every member of the Glass family? That went to the dark side <laughs> really fast. After all, I wasn't able to finish Forge Lover. It wouldn't be weird if this was an unknown rune. No, I'd never want that. I should get home right now. Keith quickly grabs my arm as I try to run, head full of steam. Nessa, wait! Everyone is heading to the gate. I wrote a letter to you earlier. What are you doing out there? Oh. Hmm. They are getting better. Really? So, so, I mean. だからとにかく家のことは心配なさそうなんだけどこれを見て。Keith takes out the letter from an envelope. I hope it in a hurry to find this written. You should read, says his oh, father. Okay. Oh, okay. The cold cir circulating in this state is nearly gone, and everyone is recovering. However, I must attend a series of social gatherings. Consider my current condition, it is uh, unlikely I will be able to attend. That said, Duke Claes of uh, Saussure cannot uh, miss uh, these events. First, I uh, would uh, request Keith participating on my behalf. Luigi Claes. Luigi. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Luigi. There. It's a me, Luigi. The uncle is Mario. Keith's <laughs> father. <laughs> The music just stops. What? Daddy? Keith has to attend social gatherings representing father throughout spring break. Does that mean I have to stay at the academy all alone for my whole vacation? No way. I won't survive without Anne and Keith. I've already eaten all the snacks. Maria's not here to make any either. How can I get my hands on some snacks? Mother, please give me some money. Wait, if they're recovering, can we go home? Shouldn't I head back to take care of them? 
ねえさ手紙にはまだ続きがあるよあやなたでまた<笑> If it's right, I haven't finished reading. There's a second letter written by mother. There she wrote. Dear Keith, I'm very concerned about leaving Katarina alone at the academy without supervision. And she already started the farm there. <coughs> It's hard to be her mom. Yeah. I would feel better if you stay by her side and keep a watch on her. I know I'm troubling you, but please take Katarina with you. I will arrange for furnishing and temporary maids. Dear Katarina, please be a proper lady and behave well. Do try not to get too carried away. Can't promise then. Listen to what Keith says. I've attached some detailed notes, so be sure to read them carefully. Sincerely, Mother. La 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 la. Oof. <laughs> On the third page, Mother's written a number of extremely specific rules to obey. Never eat anything off the ground. Keep your mouth shut while eating. Do not run off alone and make a ruckus. <laughs> Mother's handwriting is so powerful I can almost hear her voice. I can't help staring off into space. Mother, she's as good as always. I gently close the letter full of Mother's classic lectures, trying my absolute best to forget ever setting my eyes upon them. And uh, what did Mother want to say again? I read the first letter again and tilt my head, wondering about one thing. Hey, Keith, tomorrow's important Ah, that's Oh, the next day. I look out of the carriage window and high spirits keep by my side. I panicked, thinking I was left to fend for myself. Who would have thought I'd get to cruise on a luxurious liner instead? Ha! Ah, isn't that great how we're going on a boat? The social gathering father's having Keith attend is the maiden voyage of a ship hosted by Marquis Ryle Verda. It's my first time going to the sea in this life, and it's not dinky household, but a real luxury cruise ship. Of course I've never been on a cruise ship in my previous life either, so I can't help my excitement. And speaking of sea, I'm so excited for the seafood! I'm sure they'll have the freshest to see me. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Of course, the food. Most important. Nessa, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor kid! Yeah. Oh, kid. I knelt this Keith looking somewhat weary in the seat across from mine. Hmm. Oh, my それより姉さん、今回はクイドオコクとソルシエトの国交に関わる社交の場だって分かってるよね。クイドオコク。Keith and hardly recall. Oh, man. <laughs> she inhaled that cookie. Keith sighs and explains it to me again. No. クイドオコクって言われてるあのクイドオコクよね。そう。そのクイドオコクの最初とソルシエのベルダー公爵が共同で作った船が今回僕たちの乗る船なんだ。クイドオコクの造船技術は高くて。今までクイドコクが作ってきた船も十分すごいんだけど今回ソルシエと共同で開発することで魔法技術も取り入れた世界でも最大級の反戦を実現させたんだこれを機に今まであまり交流のなかったクイドとソルシエ両国の信仰を
Chief mumbles something as he looks out the window into the distance. Maybe he's frustrated that we still can't see the ocean. Yeah, that is frustration. <laughs> After a while, the carrot shakes with a great thud and stops. Finally, we arrive at the port. The sea breeze carries the salt descent into the carriage, and it really strikes me that we are in a port town. The salty smell of the sea guides my thoughts back to the seafood. I haven't had sashimi in this world, so I've really been craving it lately. Do they happen to have dried fish too? I really love to have me some marinated fish. Oh my god, this girl. She has fish in the brain right now. <laughs> I don't <laughs> she has some <laughs> And we're getting on the quid ship, right? Then they will probably have some rare cuisine and snacks from quid. Oh no. I'm happy we can hear her thoughts now. Not like in the anime. Wait, <laughs> 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 Eat everything from the floor. I try to eat get out on impulse, food. but Keith holds me. He even has mother's leather in his hand. Oh, Keith, you're so strict. Ugh, Keith acts more like mother every year, even though he's playboy in the game. I'm glad to get along here, though. Hora, Nesan. When I tilt my head, counting on my fingers to remember what else she mentioned, Keith points at the letter. Tabesugi Genkin. Oof. Well, she had to. Those exact words, same as always. They're written larger than the others in the letter, too. Of course, I keep it in mind, more or less. But why does mother have to repeat those words over and over again? And that was a lie. Please take care of this poor girl, Keith. One of each. Yeah. That's outrageous! If it was That's up to awesome. you, I'd be nothing but skin and bones! <laughs> oh, snitches get stitches, Keith. Yeah, really. <laughs> I tried to throw myself on his mercy. But Keith opens the carriage door with indifference. The seaside sunlight floods my fear. Ora, Mei san ikuyo. Send the void. Yay. <laughs>
that one of my favorite uh, voice actors, Umehara, is playing a sad character, so I'm, I'm gonna die. I hope you guys know that I might be squealing like a little girl in a candy store when he's oh. coming up, but um, yeah. Won't be the first time. <laughs> yeah, won't be the first time. I mean, we've had that before when uh, Kenjiro Tsuda appeared uh, <laughs> in Pure Fiore. Mm -hmm. So, that shouldn't be a huge surprise anymore. But yeah, yep. we have uh, gotten through the prologue. We yep. are entering chapter one. I will start with Keith first. We already mm -hmm. seen him and uh, I think he's a good choice as the first character. He's very interesting and I really like him. And I, uh, I hope you guys stay tuned and that we got to enjoy more hours of this fantastic game. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.